How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm still behind a green screen because I don't want to reveal the studio just yet. But today we're going to be looking at the ASRock A770. And this video is going to be a bit all over the place. Fortunately, like Intel on the A770, but just hold on. Now, the question that you're probably asking yourselves is why only now? And the reason is uh, when Intel released this at first, it was a mosh pit of reviewers versus Intel and all the issues and bugs that were there. And I honestly didn't want to be a part of it because I knew that it was going to improve with drivers. Well, I hope that it would. The other analogy, the Formula One analogy is Intel had a Formula One car, but unfortunately they put a sloth behind the wheel in the driver. So in general terms, what Intel did was they said, we've got this brand new card. We are coming into the GPU market thick and fast. Look at this. It's going to be so cool. People bought it and it was a failure. Now, what is different? Carrying on from the F1 example, Intel basically has a heart, but now they've taken the sloth out and they've put in a different driver. Now they're starting to get results because the driver actually knows what they're doing. But this driver is akin to Danny Kvyat, which still has issues but can perform every now and again. Now note that this is the ASRock card. It is not a reference card or the unlimited limited edition from Intel. But note I am talking about the ASRock A770 and a bit of a technical term is it's called an AIB add in board. Now this means that ASRock is a partner on Intel where they can actually take the chip, install it on a PCB and have their own cooling. And generally you find with AIB partners because of their experience in cooling that the cars are generally better. Unfortunately, I do like to make my own comparisons and I do not have an Intel reference card. So I cannot actually make that deduction, but did perform pretty good. So this card has had wide coverage from its introduction until now. And if you want to go and look at those facts and figures, you're more than welcome to, but I'm going to give you the shortened version of it. Now note that I'm talking very generally now and it is different definitely game dependent or program dependent in the results that you're going to get from the A770. But I honestly feel that now with the new drivers that the A770 is definitely a hero for the people in that is a card that is affordable and does perform. Now, if you want to benchmark this against other cards, the best benchmark is that it performs a little bit lesser than a 3060 Ti, but better than a 6650 XT. Now, if we look at the prices on a 3060 Ti, unfortunately, I'm going to give dollar prices for the South Africans, apologies because you cannot get the ARC in South Africa, but for the 3060 Ti is about $400 on Newegg, depending on the brand that you want to go for. But this ASRock is about $309. So you're saving $91 on a card that performs pretty much on par in some situations. The A770 benches pound for pound just under the 3060 Ti, again, game dependent and above the 6650 XT from Radeon or AMD. On the design aspect, please note that there are differences in the A770 in that you get an 8 gigabyte and a 16 gigabyte version of this card. So please note that when drawing your comparisons. So looking at this card in isolation at the A770, I do think that the 8 gig version is a very good purchase with the new driver updates and Intel has done a really good job in fixing it. So yes, Intel does have a way to go and they did show that they have the consumer's best interest in updating those drivers because I I thought that they would mothball the project straight after the launch, but they showed, okay, we're going to invest time and resources into developers in order to actually fix the drivers. And that showed that they were invested in the project. My biggest fear is that Intel goes, okay, after this, we want to exit the GPU market. And I really hope they don't. I think that Team Green and Team Red could use some re-energized competition. To conclude, the question that I always ask myself is that if I needed a graphics card and I had that amount of money, the $309, would I buy the A770? And the answer is yes. There are some issues that you will encounter in rebar, so make sure that your motherboard can support it. But I do believe that this is a really good purchase. So depending on your situation, please evaluate this card on the games or the programs that you're going to run because some it runs really well on as well as some it doesn't. So please bear that in mind when making this purchase. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one, hopefully in a fully complete studio. Cheers and goodbye.